Uh, let me just turn this down. Then take a deep breath. Think of the first word you want to say, and then go for it. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. First word. Not okay or all right. Ready? Aloha, kakahiaka, and no homona. Oh, <gasps> Teresa. How's everyone doing today? Good. My name's Teresa, and um, I'm going to tell you a bit about myself so that you all can get to know me better. Um, if it wasn't apparent, I'm from Hawaii. Um, Originally from Oahu, um, um, you can compare Oahu to like a really chill, less progressive San Diego. Huh. Yeah, still very surfy. Um, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Growing up on an island taught me many great values, like um, Mutual respect, compassion, and most importantly, although we always bump heads, family. Although my childhood had many rough patches, it taught me how to be tremendously independent and highly intuitive. To get to know me better, I'd like you to know how I support myself, how I develop my interest in graphic design as well as fashion. and how I've grown to love the music scene out here in LA. Okay. You know what I may have you do? Take a, a breath during your sentences. Give yourself some time to think and catch your idea, and then go forward from there. Okay. I should start over. No. You can give us, well, why don't you give us a thesis Okay. to remind us. I love the Hawaii part. I love how it's shaped you. All right. Okay. But then give us the thesis. Okay. To get to know me better, I'd like to know how I support myself, how I develop my interest in graphic design, as well as fashion, and how... I've developed a love for music in LA. So first I'd like to talk to you about my how I support myself. I've been waitress, So that we can? So that you can get to know me better. I've been waitressing since I was eighteen and you know, I didn't have a really hard well, I had a hard childhood, so my parents kicked me out right after high school and I kinda of have to just like figure life out for myself. Um, so I got a job and I've been waitressing for I'm not gonna say that actually. <laughs> And yeah, so when I moved out here to LA, because I was able to just learn how to get a job, I found a job right away to support myself, and I went back to school. And serving isn't great. The pros are, um, sorry, the pros are getting cash like every night, mm -hmm. so that's nice. Uh, the cons are just working really late hours, and it's a really demanding job, so it makes going to school pretty difficult as well. Um, but. Yeah, I've learned from serving that I don't like it. <laughs> I don't want to be doing that for the rest of my life, so that's why I'm, I'm in school again. And it's been a great motivator to pursue my actual dream, which is, which brings me to my next point. Um, I like to talk about how I developed my interesting graphic design so that you all can get to know better. 
Uh, initially, I didn't really know what graphic design entailed. I just knew that I was good at it, and I was a really good visual person. So just kind of dove into the field here at Santa Monica. Um, I ultimately want to start my own street fashion brand. I've always really been into clothing, and I know what you're thinking. Everybody wants to make shirts, but I just feel like I want to like, portray or like I want to send a message out to people who kind of had a rough upbringing like me, who didn't have parental support and, you know, just need to figure out life. I was lucky to have been so intuitive at a young age to be able to, like, establish really good values. So I just want to help kids or people like me. Um, and, yeah, so, you know, being in L.A. is great because of the fashion scene, and L.A. also has a great music scene. So fortunately... Um, I'm here, and that's great. Anyways, uh, my last point is how I developed a love for music in LA. Hawaii is an island, so nothing's really happening there, and everything's really late. And the music scene isn't too great. Uh, it's mostly mainstream stuff, so I don't know. Sorry, I'm just gathering myself. Take a breath, and yeah, gather. So. The electronic music scene in Hawaii is all mainstream and it gets really repetitive and the whole industry there is really saturated with the same sound. So being out here in LA, the music scene is very diverse. I've grown to love a specific genre called bass music, which is a combination of hip hop and uh, drum and bass. And I don't know if you guys are familiar with that, but it's like really fast EDM music, <laughs> um, essentially. So yeah, now here I often go to shows, some weekly shows, and I go to a lot of music festivals because it's just a lot of fun and you get to explore, meet new people, and expose yourself to a lot of people that are out there. Um, all in all, to get to know me better, I'd like you to know how I support myself and how I develop my interest in graphic design and how I've grown to love the music scene out here in LA. Mahalo no kapa'olohe aloha. Thank you for listening and have a great day. Yay!